Hi everybody, Sister Scale back, coming in with my week 34 gastric bypass RNY update. I had surgery June 16th, 2014 at Toronto Western Hospital in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. My highest weight ever was 361. The day of surgery I was 339. Last week I came to a 266. I had been stalled at that number uh, for about four weeks. And then after you guys came in and kicked my butt, I uh, got a little more active, cut back on a few calories, and four pounds down, I am now at 262. Uh, I can't believe uh, the motivation you guys gave me and the messages you guys sent me. I needed that kick in the butt. So uh, definitely, I know we have stalls, but a four-week stall is a little scary, and uh, usually my stalls have usually only been one or two weeks, not four, so I'm really glad that it started back up again. I I know that activity is key, and perhaps uh, <clears throat> a little lower calorie intake helped as well. I was at 1,100 calories. I went down to about 1,000, um, give or take, you know, depends on the day. Um, but it's still focus on high protein. I mean, I'm not, I'm not ever overly bad on the food intake. Um, but I think just changing it up a bit, getting more active, kicked it back into gear. And so I'm very relieved to see that. Um, notice I'm not wearing my glasses today. Uh, I had my eyelashes done by my cousin who just started that. I'll close my eyes so you can see. Oh yeah, they're so pretty. I like them. And uh, I've never done anything like that before, but because um, she was offering to do them for me for free, um, I took advantage of it. And uh, I'm now her walking billboard. Um, anyway, it was something that made me feel good and, you know, pretty myself up. Uh, I want to mention also, I went to Tops tonight. I got my 90-pound ribbon. Um, technically I am only one pound away from a hundred pounds loss from my highest weight. Um, <clears throat> but as I've said to you guys before, tops only gives every 10 pounds and I was not at my highest weight when I rejoined tops, not quite a year ago. So <clears throat> I had already lost some weight. Um, but this brings me to another topic. Um, an old coworker of mine that I used to work with five or six years ago, his girlfriend messaged me a few months ago on Facebook saying that um, she had seen my video and she added me as a friend and told me that she was going through the process herself and she was in the pre-op stages going to the same bariatric center and she wanted to join TOPS with me. So... I want to let everyone out there know that even though you don't think you're making a, an impact on the world when you make these videos, there are people that are watching that you don't realize are watching. You're making an impact on people. And uh, never think that you're doing this in vain. You know, I started just doing videos for me because I wanted something that two years from now I could look back at my fat ass and go, look how far you've come. But it's turned into more than that. It's turned into, I'm doing it for my records, but I'm doing it because there are a lot of people out there who need, they need the, the affirmation and they need to know that they're not alone in this. And I mean, all the reasons that I was looking at YouTube videos before I decided to take the plunge and do it. Uh, there is one thing that she's a little concerned about, and that's the long-term effects, you know, 10 years out plus. She's a nurse, and uh, she works with the elderly, and I can see why she has that concern, especially with nutrition, and, you know, they do studies for five years maybe, but they don't really do a lot of long-term studies, and it would be very helpful if there's anyone out there who is long-term, that could maybe make a video talking about long-term effects, um, risks long-term, if you know anybody who is far out. And I'm talking 10 plus years. Uh, the only one I know who is that far out is uh, Gastric Rose. And I know that um, Rosemary was just at her bariatric 
doctor for the first time in many, many years. So, you know, maybe she could speak about it or maybe if anyone else knows of anyone or, you know, has a story that they can share, they could make a video about that. And I'll refer this girl that I've just went to tops with to your video. That would be very helpful. I know that I was a little bit worried about that as well. You know, the last thing you want to be is in an old age home when you're 60, well, no, 80. Let's be positive here. Uh, you know, you don't want to be in a, in a nursing home uh, between 70 and 80 years old and very having very poor nutrition um, or issues with uh, anemia or, I don't know dental, calcium, osteoporosis. Um, I know it all, I know it all stems from taking your vitamins, absorbing your vitamins from the beginning, not slacking. Because as soon as you slack, it's a slippery slope and it can lead to further and further decay as you age. Um, this girl, Barb, is 29 years old, so she's fairly young. And, uh, you know, I'm 48. So um, she has a good, solid 30, you know, 30 some odd years before she has to worry about osteoporosis or, or anything like that, I would hope. But if this surgery does not help her absorb her vitamins very well, it's a concern. And uh, it should be a concern for all of us, really. So I wonder, um, other than gastric rose, does anyone know anyone who's elderly that's had this surgery? And when I say elderly, I mean 70, 80, you know, pushing between 70 and 80. Uh, that would be interesting to, to hear about if you know of anybody at that age and what the effects of the surgery have been for them. Um, anyways, I don't want to make this video very long, but that was something that was brought up that I'm kind of curious about too. And nobody ever talks about that. You know, it's always, oh, it's a great success. And, you know, I've lost this much in a year or two or even five years, but what about long, long term? Um, so let me know if you know anybody or have heard anything. Uh, other than that, there's not really a lot to talk about. Uh, just love my eyelashes. I look like Betty Lou Who, but I know there's a Betty Lou Who on. She's not on YouTube, but she's out there. And you know who you are, Betty Lou Who. But uh, that's what these lashes make me think of. You know, from the Grinch. Oh, isn't that cute? It's, you know what? <laughs> when I don't wear my glasses, my wrinkles show. And... Um, I'm going to have to do some oil of Olay or something, Rosemary, because my age is showing. I used to tell people that fat was the best Botox going because it fills out the lines, you know. And I looked so much younger when I was 100 pounds heavier. And now I'm starting to, you know, look at the forehead, look at the... Yeah, we got to do something about this. And I, I know I, I'm getting into the makeup and everything, but makeup clogs the pores and... I don't, you know, I'm getting acne a little bit here just from the little bit I've been playing around with it. So I don't know if anyone has any tips on that as well. Um, definitely got to do something. Yeah. Maybe I need a facelift. What do you think? Look at right here. It's starting to see. I look like I've got a perma frown on. People a lot of times will say, what's the matter? And I'll be like, nothing. And they'll be like, well, you look like you're mad. And I'm like, I just need a facelift. That's all. That's my, that's my straight face. What can I say? Okay, guys. Well, anyway, I'll come back in next week and hopefully this downward trend continues. No more stalls for a while. I have 61 pounds, 62 pounds to go to get to Wonderland. Oh, I can't tell you what that would mean to get there. That would be amazing. I hope you guys are all having a great week. And spring is just around the corner. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.